I've ordered this uh, Mitsubishi electric wall fan, 18 inches. So uh, that's the uh, model number, right? And it says here, uh, classy gray. Yeah. So so that's how it looked like. All right. So uh, I'm gonna uh, check the packaging here. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's the uh, packaging. So let's go, just unbox it and see what's inside. So here we are. We are opened up the box. Everything seems to be all right. And the first thing we need to pay attention to is the uh, paperwork. Now so there, here we are. This is the uh, warranty uh, paperwork. So it says it is from uh, Mitsubishi. Yeah, Mitsubishi Electric. Okay, good. Well, I normally we don't use much of this. It's gonna be. Um, I trust the Japanese. They make good stuff. Yep. So normally, you can just keep this just for future reference. You know. So under normal using. Con Usage condition, this fan would normally go faulty. Yeah, we just use it to the end of its life cycle, end of life. Yeah. All right, so let's carry on to unbox this thing, and I'm gonna proceed to install the wall fan onto one of the wall in the kitchen. control unit look look at it yeah it is the remote control wow it's nicely designed when it comes with the battery yeah battery included all right so uh, we're gonna set this aside here is safe safety measure do not put your finger in there yeah all right let's go through what are the tools needed to install that uh, Mitsubishi wall fan 
onto the wall. Okay, as I've estimated, we're gonna need a ladder. Ladder to uh, get to the height that we want. All right, this is the uh, PVC cable trunking to conceal the wires, uh, conceal the cables, the power cord, yeah. And uh, this is not actually not necessary, so uh, it's just there for for no reason. Okay, so we need some uh, lugs and uh, these screws to uh, fasten it to secure things on the wall, secure the fan on the wall, on the wall. A hammer to nail this PVC cable trunking to the wall, right? We need some nails, yeah, some nails too. So this is a cordless screwdriver, a cordless drill, seven millimeter in size, because we need to put this thing into the wall. Yeah, this is about seven millimeter. So this thing goes into the wall and the screw goes into the hole here. And we need this thing here, I don't know what it's called, to find a level ground on the wall to install the fan so the fan will look straight from a distance all right a marker pen to mark the drill point um, a blade just in case we need to cut we need to cut this uh, PVC uh, cable trunking or even you can use a scissors to do that yeah the scissors will do this is a, a very sharp scissors it's uh, used to cut uh, cut through plastic here yeah. That this was the uh, remote control in the earlier part of this topic, yeah. So we we'll just leave it there, put it aside first. So uh, yeah, these are the tools that we need. We might need more tools as we move along, but this is what I estimate that uh, we we need to uh, install the the wall fan onto the wall. All right. So that wall over there is where I'm going to install the fan, and uh, I'm going to mark how high I want it to be how high I am, you know? No, no, that's, that's, that's not the case. Um, it's gonna be how high I want the fan to be on the wall. So, um, so this is the dining area. So I'm gonna do some estimation, estimate on the, the air flow and air circulation. So that will, that's the uh, ventilation fan over there. So, um, yeah, that wall would be the, good, the right place to install the fan. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so here we are, we are making some good progress here. The fan is already on the wall. Alright, so uh, let's uh, carry on with the uh, installation process. Install the, fan, install the fan grill, the fan blades, and then uh, connect the power to it. Alright, let's get to it. Right, as you can see here, uh, we have a, a PVC a ca a cable trunking installed to the wall with uh, cable clips as to uh, keep the cables together neatly to the wall and it goes to the power source over here. It goes to the power source over here. Okay, so uh, take a look at the fan. All right, the fan is uh, properly installed and uh, now we just need to uh, do some uh, finishing works and uh, connect it to the power. Yeah, there, here it is. That's the fan, that's the power cord, power cable, 
that it goes down there. Right? And we're gonna take the power source from from this this plug over here. Okay, so uh, well, so we're gonna uh, conceal the cables in the uh, PVC cable trunking. Yep. All right. So uh, we're gonna cut the uh, PVC uh, trunk cable trunking. And we're gonna cut one of the ends to be like this. Yep. And then uh, we're gonna heat it up a little bit. So uh, let's go for a little bit here. Yep. And then we're gonna bend it over like this. So it's gonna be like this. So uh, it's one of the way to um, terminate the uh, cable length. So uh, it looks neat. It doesn't reuse a hole over there, so uh, I'm gonna put it over. I'm gonna install this right over there. Over there, yeah. So that will be the final work to install the wall, wall fan onto the wall, right? Okay, let's see if the uh, fan works. I've connected it to the power supply, to the power source. So uh, let's try it out. I've got the remote control in my hand over here, so let's see how it works. Okay, wow, amazing. Okay, stop blowing things away now. Okay, stops moving. Okay. Go. Okay. Just I don't have a timer. Okay, shut down. Power off. Okay, power on. Ta da! Voila! Here we go again. Okay, let's change the fan speed. Alright, let's go maximum. Whoa! -ho -ho. And it works! It works! <laughs>